So first things first, what do we need in the course? The course is split into the embroidery part, the pattern making part, as well as the sewing. So the first task we're going to complete will be a small embroidery task. We need a quarter yard of calico to do that sample. Simple, plain cotton fabric that does not stretch. Half a yard of white interfacing. I'm going to use black because of the video. I don't want the light to really reflect, but, but please, whatever you do, make sure you get white interfacing. So we need a pack of embroidery threads. You can get a pack of embroidery threads like this, but if you can't find anything like this, that you can just get hand sewing kit, basically. Just a small tool kit and everything. I'll just talk about the things you need in this particular course. A measuring tape, a small pair of scissors so that you can just cut off your threads. You can use a thimble if you want to just protect your finger when you are doing your hand stitching. The pack usually has a pack of hand sewing needles, so you need hand sewing needles obviously for this task. We need small beading needles because we are going to use something called bright beads, something very tiny and your normal needle is not going to go through it. We need tailor's chalk to be, or you can also use a fabric pen, it doesn't really matter. The next thing you need is a small ruler, so a ruler like this is fine for this project. A pack of normal beads, it doesn't really matter what you get as long as they are beads. My dressmaker pins, um, and they are really very thin, long and fine. We need a pack of rice beads. Now the rice beads are the really, really, really teeny tiny beads. You have your sewn rhinestones. It doesn't really matter which one you get either, as long as you get rhinestones that have holes so that you can stitch on there. Then I want to show you how to sew a button. Those are the plain buttons, so you can, we're gonna work with this. The button with the shank has an extension at the end, just something like that. So I'll show you how to sew that as well. I have the bugles, this is what bugles look like. Bugles are thin, long beads. That's what your bugles look like. Just longer. You need your sequins. So these are the sequins. I'm going to pour this a little bit of this here so you can see exactly what it is that we need. These are the sequins. That's what they look like. These are the hook and bar. So that's the hook and bar. Just to show you how to stitch it. That's all we're going to use it for. These are also the stick on rhinestones. They have um, glue at the back, which you just use your iron to steam. So now we're going to move on to the tools that we need for pattern making. So for our pattern making, we have our roll of pattern paper. So this is brown paper. You can use brown paper. I will be using white paper. So whichever one you find is fine. Then we will need scotch tape or masking tape. This is so that you can stick pieces of paper together. And we need a long ruler, very important. And we also need a short ruler or a flexi ruler. You need your pencils and you need an eraser and a sharpener. Most of these packs come with sharpeners and erasers. You need paper scissors. You need a tracing wheel. I'll show you how to use it when the time comes. We'll need a straw board. If you don't have a straw board, so you can use a rug or you can use a mattress. Or you can use just anything soft. Just pile fabric together and trace it. That's really all you need. So let's move on to the sewing tools. And on to the sewing task. So what we need obviously is a sewing machine. You should get a domestic tabletop sewing machine. It's always the best bet. You must ensure that it has at least five stitches. We need an iron. Ensure that it is a steam iron, not a dry iron. Same chalk that we showed you before. We also need scissors. Make sure that you distinguish between your fabric scissors and your paper scissors. You need a seam ripper. So this seam ripper is used to unpick bad stitches. For the kind of zip we're making, we need just normal zips, not the invisible zip. One is fine. And of course you need fabric. Any fabric works. But make sure it is cotton because cotton is easier for you to work with. So it can be Ankara, it can just be plain cotton as long as it is cotton. And of course, we also need our dressmaker pin. That literally is all we need for this class. If you have any questions, please ensure that your parents watch this video so they know exactly what they need to get you for this class.